So as you guys can see on the screen, we are on the verge of our first match of the season, the home opener, and it is against Bochum. We are at home against Bochum, and then we follow that up with an away match against RB Leipzig. Should probably be a little bit uh, more of a test than against Bochum. And of course, we're going to finish off the summer transfer window. That's the plan today. Now, I read a lot of your suggestions, and there was some, some uproar in the comments, and we're gonna go through all that. Now, the first thing that we have to talk about is the Hyung Min Sun situation. Some of you said that we should sign Hyung Min Sun, but then a lot of you said that we probably shouldn't sign Hyung Min Sun because from a business perspective, it's just not a good option. He's 33 years old. When we scouted him just a couple weeks ago, when I showed him to you guys, he was 85 rated. Now he's 84 rated. He's already dropping. So, and he's still worth so much money. 35 million euro. Our budget is 80 to 85 million. Like spending half of our money on a 33, possibly 34 year old Hyung Min Sun who's just gonna decline and decrease over the course of the season. It's just not a good strategy. I, so I don't think, unfortunately, we'll be bringing a Hamburg legend Hyung Min Sun back to the club. I just don't think it's gonna happen. And that is mainly because we have so many other positions that we need to fill because we're playing in the Champions League and we need to bring in some good squad depth and some more quality to the club. And if we spend all of that money on Hyung Min Sun, we just won't be able to afford anybody good. And the first thing we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna make a big splash. Yes, we are. We're playing in the Champions League. We're gonna buy a new striker and it's gonna be a popular choice in the comments. It's gonna be Armando Broja. He's coming in and he's gonna be competing with Bobby G, Bobby Golazzo for that striker spot. We paid a lot of money for him, guys. Honestly, I tried to get him as cheap as possible, but because he's only 23 years old, wearing number 11, we had to pay 31 and a half million for Armando Broja. 31 and a half million euro, but it had to be done. Honestly, Bobby Golazzo is getting old. At first, they asked about 37, 38 million. I kind of countered it down to a little bit lower than that, but he's 80 overall, and I think he's going to be a great fit at this club moving forward, man. Armando Broja, welcome to Hamburg. And you know what? We're going to make another big splash. We're going to bring someone back to Hamburg. We couldn't bring back Hyungmin Sun, but we're going to bring in Hakan Chalonoglu. We need a central defensive midfielder. We're playing in the Champions League. You guys told me in the comments, don't be cheap and spend some money. I mean, that's what we're doing. We're spending money. Hakan Chalonoglu is back at Hamburg from PSG on a four-year deal. He's going to be wearing number seven. And PSG didn't want to let him go cheap, but we still had to pay quite a bit of cash. I paid 35 million, 35 and a half million euro for Hakan Chalonoglu. Welcome back, my friend. 85 rated, our best player, our highest rated player. He's here for four years, like I said, on a four-year deal. I am excited for this. 86 rated. I mean, is this not a W signing? He is going to be absolutely incredible. Hakan, man, welcome back to Hamburg. And I think after making those two signings and splashing the money, it's time to test them out. And what better way to do it than in our season debut at home against Bochum at the Volkspark Stadion. And both Armando Broja and Hakan Chalonoglu will be starting. A lot of players are a little bit unfit, unfortunately. But Adaric is unfit. You can see Jonathan Ta is unfit. I gotta play around with their uh, match fitness and, uh, and uh, sharpness and all that but they will be ready for next match. A couple of them are on the bench. I think that partnership of Rice and Chalanoglu will tear things up. So let's go and try and get our first three points in the Bundesliga. It's time for a new season. New dreams, new expectations. Armando Broja is here. Hakan Chalanoglu is here. It's time for Hamburg to shine. Here we go. Live from the Volkspark Stadion. It is Hamburg versus Bochum. Bochum probably a side that's uh, trying to avoid relegation and stay up. We are a side that have expectations now. We are not a little team anymore. We've grown in our three seasons. But Adaric. And we see Broja making the run, and he's in already. Oh, baby. Come on. Ah! First kick. First touch. First goal for Mr. Armando. Woo! What a debut. Oh, baby, baby, baby. I'm excited. We're going to have Armando and Bobby going forward. This is what teams I've got to deal with. That right there. It's 1 0. Booster Haj. Oh no, we gave him some space. Pass lack. Don't give away penalty now. Chalanoglu, brilliant. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, soul back and not brilliant. Not brilliant at all. No! Oh, it's... And our celebrations are short-lived here, guys. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Early jitters, early season jitters. We give up a goal. Looney, uh, Lo Looney. Lunin probably should have saved that. It went right underneath his arm. Well, Broja scores, but uh, Bochum come right back. Loosely will go long. Chalanoglu is there. Broja will collect. And Broja gets around the defenders. And we see Rooney making the run. He's in some space. Rooney Bargy. 
that could be a very very exciting partnership between rooney and Sh and brosia and maybe even a shot and it's not haji it's the spaceman i mean armando brosia one goal one assist in the first half i have a feeling rooney and armando are gonna make quite the partnership plus don't forget about nicholas pepe as well we got some quality players at the club it's 2-1 and we get it right back before halftime the only thing about chalanoglis is a little bit slow but that's okay that's us all right. 47 minutes in, halftime, 2-1 Hamburg. Hadji and Brozier will kick off the second half to Chalanoglu, to Joshua Noman. The one thing is that these two players are very excited to be here, guys. They're very excited to be here. Their actual weekly wages, they took a pay cut to come to Hamburg because they see the project. They see what we're trying to do here. As me, the manager, and you guys, the board member, they see that there's lots of potential. There's lots of room for success. There's a, a big upside of playing for this club. And Joshua Noman is coming in. And it's Broja again. I mean, he's just everywhere. He is everywhere. We have a corner. Chalanoglu will take this corner and he'll be going to the box, to the end of the box here, edge of the box. Soul back and what a terrible touch though. They are playing well though. I mean, Bochum, they're not playing bad. I'll give it to them. They're not playing bad, but we're playing better. Broja. Rice. Chalanoglu, can he have a crack? Hakon, Mr. Hakon's got a cannon. We are making five changes and the regular boys are coming on. Hatsika Dunic, Benes, Mihaila, Pepe, and Bobby G. Armando Broja, incredible debut. And Pepe will take this corner. Should we go back again? I think we're going to go to the edge of the box again. And it's going to be Mihaila there. Mihaila takes a nice touch. Benes tries to let take the shot on. I like Laszlo Benes as well. I hope he grows a little bit better this season. Laszlo Benes is a good squad player to have, man. He really is. Amuzu carries forward. He's very fast. Oh my. He's extremely fast. We can't catch him. We can't catch him. But Hatsi Kadunic stands tall. Yes! Lunin comes up big. What did I say about Benes, guys? What did I say about Laszlo Benes? 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 There he is. Out wide to Laszlo Benes. He takes on three defenders and pops it. Pops it right in. Bing, bang, boom. 3-1 Hamburg, three points. And that's it. Last kick of the match. Home debut, season debut. Hamburg come out with a victory. And we're gonna bring in a center back as well because we need a center back. Now, this is a center back that was probably suggested. I don't know if it was every video for the past six months, but one of our viewers, Max, he's been suggesting Nicholas Valentini from Boca Juniors. Probably he suggested it for Bournemouth, our Bournemouth career mode. We never got him. He suggested him for Hamburg for the past three seasons. We haven't got him, but we don't have a lot of money to spend because we spent spent most of our money on uh, the two players that we got. So we're going to bring in Nicholas Valentini for 8.4 million euro. I believe he's like 75 or 76 rated, but he's only 24 years old. And the thing is that he's fast. That's the thing. 78 pace on our center back, 74 defending. Very, very good. So I think he can be a good squad depth player for us. So Nicholas Valentini, welcome to Hamburg, man. He's coming from Boca Juniors. And honestly, looking at Nicholas Valentini, I really like his stats. 75 acceleration. 86 jumping, 80 sprint speed, 76 stamina, 81 strength. Those are very good. 76 aggression. And what about his tackling, his slide tackling, his stand tackle? 75 and 76, pretty decent. Honestly, this guy might be a little bit of a bargain, guys. This guy's gonna get some playing time. Well, we've played our first match of the season. We won 3-1 and Leipzig also won their first match of the season 4-1. And we're playing Leipzig next. And just like us, Leipzig also added to their squad. They have Antoine Griezmann up front with Openda now. Griezmann is definitely getting on a little bit in uh, his age in this in this save, but it's still Griezmann. And they have Ben Chilwell, uh, Chilwell, Chilwell as their left back. So they have some quality players and uh, they're not something to mess around with. The boys are coming in. 50 career wins for us as a manager. It is kickoff time. Leipzig is of course in there. White kits, we are in our away blue and we definitely have to watch Griezmann. We gotta watch Griezmann, we gotta watch Openda. We lost both of our matches to Leipzig last season, if you remember that. If you haven't, that's okay. Hopefully you won't uh, witness any more losses to Leipzig because that's we don't want to we don't want to lose to Leipzig. We don't want to lose to anybody. But Openda is carrying forward and it's a little give and go with Griezmann. We don't want to lose to Leipzig. We don't want to lose to anybody. He still got it and he's still doing his little little dance, huh? You're still doing those little Fortnite dances, aren't you? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're in for a match here, boys. We are in for a match because Griezmann is at it again and it's 1-0. Antoine Griezmann gives Leipzig a 1-0 lead. Early. It's early. Chalanoglu. Broja! 
again just muscled off the ball he's getting close he's getting close to another goal oh boy and leipzig does well van omen does extremely well though to come back and intercept that it's end to end fed eye broja out wide to joshua van omen he can carry he sees nicholas pepe ah, almost got there too chalanoglu win this win this he does it's rice loses the ball we are pressing here we're not being bullied around Riesman inside to Slager Xavier Slager Danny Olmo not Griezmann not Griezmann again not Griezmann again we can't get there in time Griezmann is definitely getting on a little bit Antoine Griezmann does it to us again and he's doing his Fortnite dances two opportunities for Leipzig two goals two shots for Griezmann two goals it's two nil well it's still the first half and it's not like we've had a bad half like we just we just kind of collapsed defensively we could still try and get one back here in this in the first half before the half is over hopefully we're gonna try we're gonna try and get one back Soul back in back to Chalanoglu to Broja Broja yes what did i say what did i say it's armando it's armando baby welcome to hamburg my friends it's chalanoglu to armando and it's two 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 one right before halftime like i said right before halftime we needed to get one back and we have second half underway can we find another goal can we prevent griezmann from scoring another here in the second half don't let him cross it is Baumgartner. Ta steps in uh, he tried to feed. We tried to feed Broja on a counter. But we just give the ball back to them. We started off well in this half, but we we're, we just can't get the ball. We're going to make some subs here. Leipzig is making subs. Danny almost coming off. Memphis Depay is coming on. So it's going to be Griezmann and Depay playing together for the past, for the last 25 minutes or so. We are also making five changes. Haji, Bucha, Mahaila, Barji, and Glatzel all coming on. Bobby is on. Nicolas Pepe is off. Armando Broja is also off. Bobby's going to try and use his experience and get us a goal here. Hold them, hold them, hold them, hold them. We don't want to give away a penalty. They, they, they're passing the ball so well, guys. So well. Oh, my. I, like, I, I can't do anything. I literally can't do anything. Their passes are just tic-tac, 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 toe. 3-1. For some reason, we just can't beat Leipzig, guys. We just, we just, they have our number. They're 3-4-3 three, three now against us. I don't know how we're going to be playing in the Champions League. We're going to be playing teams that are of the same quality in the Champions League as Leipzig. And we cannot be playing like this. We have to be playing better defense. We'll see Haji making the run. Haji. We see Bobby. We try to feed to Bobby. It just doesn't... It's not there. Passing is not there. It's 91 minutes, and that's final. We lose our first match of the season. We lose 3-1 to Leipzig, unfortunately. You guys wanted me to loan out Robin Sanders, and that's exactly what we're doing. He's leaving us to play at Freiburg for 12 months. Hopefully, he can get some more game time at Freiburg than he can, than he can at Hamburg. I think he'll come back a better player. So, Mr. Sanders, come back a better player, and we wish you all the best at Freiburg. Well, the transfer window is closed, guys, and it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. The Champions League groups are out. Let's go group by group, and I'm going to show you who we got in our group. It's a very, very interesting group. So group A, it is Barcelona, Bayer Leverkusen, Benfica, and Celtic. That is a very interesting group by Barcelona and Bayer Leverkusen. Maybe Benfica can break their curse and get out. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. Group B, Liverpool, Real Madrid, Marseille, and Pauk from Greece. I think Pauk got a bad draw. It's a little bit of a bad luck. Liverpool and Madrid, definitely the favorites. Group C, Man City, Nice, Slavia Praha, and Young Boys. Man City, of course, getting those easy groups. Man City buying the, Euro the UEFA Champions League. Group Group D, Inter Milan, Leipzig, Braga, and Shakhtar Donetsk. If I remember correctly, I think we're in Group E. And our group is... Oh, it's not. <laughs> we're not in Group E. We're in Group F. AC Milan, Atletico Madrid, RB Salzburg, and Victoria Polzen. Also an interesting group, but I think AC Milan and Atletico Madrid are the favorites. Like I said, I think we're in Group F. So I'm just going to go to Group F, and uh, I'm going to show you what we got. Ugh. We got Arsenal and Juventus and Royal Antwerp. Ugh. I don't know how we're going to do against Arsenal and Juventus guys I, I really don't know i don't know how we can get out of this we're gonna try we're gonna try to get out of this group but we got arsenal and juve <sighs> why can't we just get like a manchester city group but we got the hardest group and finally group h psg spurs az alkmaar and dinamo kiev and sorry finally group h because that was group g bayern munich atalanta sevilla and rangers also an interesting group probably a battle for second there bayern munich is definitely the favorites but 
us, we are stuck with Arsenal and Juventus. And so in our next episode, we start the month of September. Home match against Borussia Mönchengladbach away at Union Berlin. Our first Champions League match is at home against Royal Antwerp. So it's an easy one. That's probably a must win. Then we are also again at home against Augsburg. And then we are also again at home, a little homestand in the Deutsche Pokal against Braunschweig. In the Bundesliga, after two matches, we're currently in seventh. One win, one draw, four goals, four, four goals against on three points but it's early on so the standings right now they they don't really matter even though Wolfsburg and 3-0 no, I'm sure they'll drop points even though Frankfurt is 2-0 no, they'll probably drop points as well so I'm not too too worried about the Bundesliga here because it's early days but uh, I definitely think we have to start conceding less goals and playing better against the bigger sides so thank you very much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you approve of the transfers that we've made a lot of them well most of them were your all of all of them were your suggestions so we used the money as we used it and now it's time to face uh, the season with what we got as always take care of yourselves take care of each other stay happy and stay healthy always keep smiling also let me know down in the comments your predictions how you think we'll do in our champions league group against arsenal and juventus okay and i'll see you guys in the next video all right peace 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 peace